Hey everyone, Itai Manero here, and in this video I'm going to show you what's so amazing about the new Apple Pencil Hover feature in Procreate. So let's jump right into it. Apple Pencil Hover has been around for a while now, since the latest iPad Pros with M2 chips came out. This is not a tech channel, so in this video I'm only going to focus on what this specifically means for Procreate artists. Unfortunately this feature is only available for iPad Pros with the mentioned M2 chip at the moment, so please take that into account. The latest Procreate 5.3 update included support for the new hover feature. Before the update, I always assumed that in Procreate, we would just be able to hover our pencil over the screen and get a basic black outline preview of our brush shape. But the moment I installed the update and I started playing with it, I noticed something really exciting. They were actually giving us different options for how we wanted our brush preview to appear. You could choose to have a black outline, but you could also choose to show the outline with your current color, or directly to have a fully colored version of the stamp, the brush texture, and other little details. And all of this could be personalized for each brush individually. As a brush maker, I immediately knew that I needed to go through every single one of my brushes to adjust how I wanted each of them to work with Apple Pencil Hover. I knew this would make them way more accurate, useful and fun to work with, and it really made a huge difference. I have been working on this non-stop for the last month or so, and I'm happy to announce that every single one of my brushes has been updated. If you have an iPad that supports Apple Pencil Hover, you can benefit from this new feature when using my brushes right now. All the updates are of course entirely free for any previous of my customers. For each brush to work with Hover the Brush Maker intended, make sure to click on the wrench icon in the top left corner in Procreate. Go to the Prefs tab and activate Brush Cursor. Then click on Advanced Cursor Settings below and make sure to select Show Both in Brush Cursor Visibility and Per Brush in Brush Outline Style. Let me show you some specific uses my brushes make of this cool feature to see how this is actually game changing for Procreate artists with the right tools. My ultimate dynamic comic panels, balloons, and sound effects toolkit for Procreate was already an incredible tool for Procreate comic creators, but now it is even better with Pencil Hover. Before you kind of had to guess where to place your balloon stamps, and what their size needed to be to match the dialogues in your comics. But now you can preview the balloons, and adjust their size with a two finger pinch before placing them. This way you can also see how the new balloon merges with any previous balloon already in place, and even preview their outline and filling colors. This is also great when placing the sound effect stamps included with this set. I'm absolutely in love with how these brushes work now that we have this hover feature. Another set that really benefits from this update is the pixel art experience. This was already a one-of-a-kind brush set, allowing you to do pixel art on the go in Procreate, but now it is just flawless. Before, if you followed the included PDF guidebook, you had to activate the grid at one pixel size to help you see where your individual pixels would go before painting, which was good enough. But now you can just preview the pixel placement with Hover. As any pixel artist would know, this is game changing in terms of accuracy and makes things so much straightforward. The feature works also amazingly with the included dithering brushes and all the other pixel brushes from this set. Dynamic stippling and patterns is another one of my brush sets that changes a lot with this new feature. The simple fact that you can now preview the textures of the pattern brushes before painting with them is a huge time saver. It allows you to see how different textures would look in your drawing without having to paint and erase every time before you decide. My Character Designer Toolkit is also a set that works fantastically with Hover. You can literally preview the different body parts as you build your character bases, allowing you to have a real-time interaction with the silhouettes you're working with, which makes things so much more fun. Of course, these are just some exciting examples of what kind of things can be achieved if a brush maker like me takes the time to update their brushes to take full advantage of this new hover feature. All my sets have been improved thanks to this, and working with inking or textured brushes is extremely fun as well. 
I really hope you liked this video. If you use my brushes and post your art on social media, feel free to use the hashtag ManeroBrushes so that I can see what you create. I will be extremely happy to share your creations with my audience. Don't forget to subscribe for more art related videos and give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure to check out my Gumroad page, where you will find all the brush sets for Procreate shown in this video, and many other sets and freebies that I have available. I'm sure something will suit your artistic needs. All the links are in the description below. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.